Anzac Day represents to me the spirit of Australia, the true grit and the, the soldiers showed in, the, in the, the war zones and following on today in today's society and what we need to do and just look after each other. This Anzac Day I'll be in the Middle East region. Just want to say a big hello to my wife Annette, my daughters Jamie and Georgia and all my family and friends back home. Anzac Day to me is a day that we can pay our respects to those who served before us and made the Australian Defence Force what it is. It's also a day that makes me feel like my service is appreciated and worthwhile. To me, Anzac Day is about remembering those that have worn the uniform before us, about acknowledging the sacrifices they've made uh, in the service of their country. Uh, it's also about coming together with the serving and ex-serving mates and uh, celebrating each other's service. This Anzac Day, I'll be paying my respects by standing at the end of my driveway and observing a minute silence at 6am. This year my partner and I will be doing a charity run over the month of April to raise funds for wounded, injured and ill soldiers, both past and present, um, and just remembering to look after our own. Anzac Day to me is not just about watching Collingwood spank the bombers, it's about remembering the past and present serving members and their sacrifices that day and their families have made. Uh, just a big shout out to the boys and the family back home. Uh, enjoy your Anzac Day and have a beer for me. Cheers. What will I be doing on Anzac Day? Like all Australians, standing at the end of my driveway with my daughter and remembering those that have fallen and those that are currently serving overseas away from loved ones. I hope everyone back home has a good and safe Anzac Day, as well as my parents and my other half, Jack, and my dog, Dennis.